Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to display the current time on the web page and then format that time however you want. When the user loads the page, it's going to show the exact time of that page load. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we see the time on the page. This is the current time right now. We have two different versions. We're showing a 24 hour version and a 12 hour version. You're going to be able to customize this completely. And I'm gonna go ahead and reload the page to show you that this value is going to update with the exact current time of page load. So I go and reload it and there we go. The minutes changed and the seconds change. Go ahead and it's active. I reload, it's the current time of load. We're in designer and we have our text elements on the page. We need to apply unique classes to the elements that we're going to be inserting the time into. It doesn't matter what these text elements say because we're going to be rewriting the text with JavaScript. It could be a heading, it could be a paragraph, a text element, span, doesn't matter. As long as we have our class applied to it, we can target it in JavaScript. Here we have hack 23 time version one, and here we have hack 23 time version two. We're going to be inserting two different formats of the time into each of these text elements. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. We're going to be creating two different variables and the variables are going to hold different formatting options. So here we have our first variable, time version one, and then our second, time version two. And we have different settings or options applied to these variables. You can see that the output is quite different. We're using a 24 hour time here. We're using a 12 hour time here. First, we are setting our time zone. Here we are in America, New York. You can set this to whatever time zone you want. And I found that the best resource for quick time zone is here on this Wikipedia page. Uh, there were some other options, but it was a little difficult to actually receive the values. So right here, just go ahead, check out that Wikipedia page. It's going to give you all of the valid time zones that you can put into your time. Okay, 12 hour, true, false. If it's 12 and you want it to show AM, PM, we're going to put true. If it's not 12 hour and you're doing 24 hour, then we are making that false. And here on our hour, minute, and second with this version, we have two digit, two digit, two digit. Here we are using numeric and numeric for hour and minute. You can see that this does not have too much of a change here. We are still working only with two digits when we have time. So I wanted to show you the difference there and really the same output. Okay, um, it is also, totally optional to have seconds. So sometimes seconds is just a little too much. If I wanted to go and remove that, I can go and remove. And there we go. Then I would have no seconds. I'm gonna go and undo that just to keep it in the example. Okay, now we have our variables. They have the options that we want. And now we're going to insert this text and insert the timestamp on the page. We're going to go ahead and target our hack 23 time version one class. And we're going to update the text content. And the text content is going to be a new date. We are using the to local time string method. We are formatting in English US and we're using our options that we established in time version one. So of course the time version one is what we have here. So this format and this output is going to show in our hack 23 time version one class. And our version two class is the same exact process and we have everything the same, the same to local string English US. We're just pulling 
different options here and the different options are going to format the time in a different way. So you can see that the implementation here for both options is the same. Just swap out what variable you're using at the end. And of course, I'm sure you, you're going to want to format these time strings however you want and really make it exactly how you're, you're imagining. I found that the best option for the options are the Mozilla developer docs. These have a really full overview of what's going on and what you can set. So here we are on the to local time string method and it's going to show you some of your options for the time zone. It's going to um, show you time stylings and it's going to allow you to change the hour cycle, 12 hour. There's a lot of options here and you can go through this and just go ahead and create your option list exactly how you want and then it's going to format on the page based on the options that you set and that is how you can display the live time in real time on the web page thank you so much for checking out this hack please clone the project we have the entire hacks project available for clone start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site we're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.